Hello YouTube, GamerKid1989 here, uh, back with another video. Um, it's been a while, I think it's been about a week since I've been back. Um, had a rough uh, work week. I had some remodeling at some buildings of ours and um, being IT, I'm responsible to move. Uh, moved the other people from the building being remodeled into the different building um, so that's what I was doing all week and everyone knows when you're moving stuff like that and you get tired and making trips back and forth um, so I just came home and I, I passed out went to sleep relaxed um, today I'm smoking a I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Come on. An Anon pipe. I think that's how you say it. Um, this is a reverse calabash. Um, little rocker. Got this from my dad. Um, I'm not sure if my last video I'd mentioned that I went over there to um, do some yard work and ended up, he ended up giving me a bunch of pipes. Um, so I had those to go through and trying some of those out and uh, he had also given me uh, a while back some short cut mushroom that I had never tried actually it get, didn't get lost but it wasn't with my other tobaccos so I was kind of thinking to myself he asked me when I was down there if I tried it and I said I'm trying to think where I put it and found it so I figured I'd give this stuff a try Pretty solid, uh, solid blend, kind of a aromatic English um, going on. I can see why uh, my dad likes this. It's pretty tasty stuff. Uh, not too much been going on. Um, did order a, a tobacco mat finally on Etsy. And that should be coming Monday. Um, so I should be doing a box opening on that. And uh, on that note, uh, Monday, well, I guess this whole week, starting on Monday to th Monday through Friday, um, I'll actually be taking uh, some online classes that week. So I will not be at the office. So I might be coming out on my lunch break to make videos or whatever. So. You guys wonder why you see me more, and if it's different time of the day, um, that way you guys know what's going on. Um, also, had something interesting happen to me this weekend. Um, was outside smoking a pipe, grilling some hamburgers, you know, having a good time. My fiance had her family over. And I uh, usually put my pipes in a uh, stainless steel ashtray um, for cigars. Uh, if I put them down, that way they're not uh, tipping over or whatever. Um, and usually put my tamper in next to it. And I think I had a cigar in there too, um, two of them. Um, one was just a nub, and the other one was kind of a little bit longer. So I went inside to go eat, came back out, went to go light my pipe up. Couldn't find my tamper anywhere. I'm trying to think. You know, where did I put that tamper at? Where did I put that tamper? And I know I didn't put it in my pocket because it was a longer tamper, and... Um, you know, sitting down with one of those, you'd be able to tell it's a little bit uncomfortable. It doesn't quite fit in your pocket right, and you kind of have that. If you put a pen in your pocket, for me, it just doesn't work. Um, so I couldn't find it, and I went over and I checked back over there by the 
by that ashtray thinking maybe it fell on the ground or you know somehow rolled off but I, I know it was you know calm as could be outside um, things in the middle of the grill um, it's in that ashtray you know, fine so I couldn't figure it out and I'm back over there looking and I see inside that uh, inside the ashtray I got that longer cigar and it's got a little bit nibbled off on the end like uh kind of like a, a circle or whatever and I'm you know, thinking like well, I don't bite my cigars um, I'm not one of the people that chew on them although there's some people are um, I don't do that so I couldn't figure out why this thing was all chewed up on the on the one corner so I kind of thought back to earlier this fall we had an issue with some squirrels um, coming up here oh god there's a bee something. Things flying around like crazy. I'm actually allergic to bees so I have to kind of watch out. <laughs> Can't get stung by those guys. Um, mm, so maybe just a sweat bee. Um, but anyhow, um, where was I at? Dang bumblebee got me all, or sweat bee got me all worked up. Um, yeah, so I was at Tamper, and uh, last fall we had a uh, squirrel that came up here, knocked the uh, the grease trap out of the grill, and it was dripping down when it got hotter. One of the days it got a little bit warmer, and that grease warmed up and was dripping down to the neighbors below. And I didn't know because, you know, it's behind the grill, and you know, I didn't check behind there. So I'm thinking, you know, how did that get on, you know, how did that get off there. I mean, that just doesn't, I don't think they just fall off that easy. And it's, you know, the, the, it's blocked by the wall, so there's no wind. So, uh, like I said, and I saw some claw marks in that, in that grease trap, so I kind of figured something had got up here. I've seen squirrels and other uh, other people's patios before. Never seen one up here, but if they're up, you know, up on other people's, sure enough, they'll be up here. So I think what happened was that uh, squirrel took off with my damper. So anyhow, I'm just gonna start bringing these guys out here. Um, like put them in my pocket when I'm done and not leave it out here and uh, <laughs> that happened again um, so. yeah that should be about it uh, I don't plan on having any orders or anything else going on this week um, had some uh, other investments I was doing I've decided to uh, do a little bit different diet plan um, still was kind of on my nights and uh, going to go to a uh, meal prep kind of diet where I can prep up you know a couple days ahead of time and go um, so I had to get some containers and stuff that are uh, be able to be used for that I got some special ones that can be froze if I need to and they're not you know if something happens to them it's not the end of the world and you know not too expensive but um, kind of bought them in not bulk but there's more um, containers like say if I would go to buy um, the stair light or whatever they call them at Walmart where the snap lids you might get four of them well I got 20 of these because if I do you know three meals a day for two people um, for three days, you know, that's, that adds up quick. So, uh, did that. I also got some uh, ceramic knives um, for doing kitchen work. There's some different cutting boards because your meal prepping, um, you tend to do, well, I'm, I, I'm going to do different proteins, um, so I don't want to be doing, you know, chicken or whatever, 
and have to sit there and wash a cutting board every time. Um, so I got a, a pack that are labeled um, for each protein or vegetable or whatever, um, depending on what you're cutting it with. That way you don't bring beef over to chicken or you know, vice versa or vegetables. You keep everything kind of the same and have less issues um, with that. So that was my uh, purchase for the week, probably for the month. Um, trying to save up some uh, some cash to uh, get a house as well. So anyways, I think that'll do it. Um, I think this pipe's right at the end of the bowl. I'm starting to kind of taste a little bit of. Uh, not ash, but I, I can tell it's getting towards the bottom. It's getting a little bit warmer. So I'll go ahead and cut this video. And uh, I want to thank everyone, uh, all my subscribers, um, everyone for commenting, uh, liking the video. Um, means a lot. I'm seeing everyone, well, not everyone, I'm seeing people watching my videos and um, enjoy watching other people's. I um, haven't been able uh, a lot to be commenting and stuff like that, but been working on it. Um, see if I watch a video or something, I'll add it to my watch list. That way I can go back and kind of, uh, you know, re-comment, or not re-comment, but um, leave a comment when I get time. So, I guess that'll do it. Um, hope everyone has a safe weekend. Um, enjoyable weekend. Um, hope everyone stays cool. Uh, don't need to get overly uh, dehydrated. That's no fun. Uh, make sure you guys are drinking some water, all that stuff. You know, I don't need to be telling you that. So, um, I guess I'll catch you guys later.